Well, hello. Uh, welcome back. I have a quick little video here this week. Um, I had a question from uh, Jonathan on one of the other videos, where or how I made my little minis um, that I demonstrated or used for some of my videos. And they're actually, I, to be honest, I got the idea from a different website. I'm not sure what the website was anymore. Uh, I did some looking around, looked at my history, but not finding it. Um, uh, it's a pretty well-known uh, um, crafter, though. I can't think of who it was, though. So if you know who it was, throw it in the comments down below and give them the uh, credit that they're due. Uh, but basically, it's um, a pretty simple procedure. As you can see, they are simply a epoxy dome resin um, with a magnet on the back and a picture um, sandwiched between them. Now, like these here how i kind of use them a lot of them like i'll have different colored monsters so i have like blue and green you know whatever these these could be uh skeletons these could be a couple of goblins these could be you know whatever i want them to be um that uh are for that now if i have a little bit more of a named N npc they might uh i'll I'll make one with a nice face, or and this is just something I you know grabbed off of uh, Google Images basically, but you can use any you know clip art that you might have. Um, so and then uh, I have a few other ones too, like uh, treasure chest, uh, some fire. That's uh, useful for like uh, so if someone casts like a um some kind of a continuous fire type spell, or if you have like a campfire or something like that, uh, some brush, I have a few of these. Then I have a few other ones too that are more um, NPC-ish, like this one that says ally. Um, but basically, uh, these here all together, uh, printed them out on a printer. And they don't look very good when you print them, to be perfectly honest. But once you, because uh, it works, right here this is what it looks like when when you print one doesn't look the greatest the procedure is pretty simple though uh we just cut cut it out real quick and i'm just gonna kind of sloppily cut this and the reason for that is i have a one inch uh, punch which i can use to cut this out I wouldn't need the punch. I could sit and cut these out and then, you know, trim them up nicely. But with the one inch punch, this is a Fisker's punch. Um, just kind of line that up in there. This image, which is the Cthulhu image, which I decided I was going to make one of anyway. So here we go. Uh, you kind of get it where you want it. Let's punch him out. And for some reason, that one actually. So I was still going to end up doing a little bit of trimming here anyway. So I might as well just maybe cut the whole thing out. But like I said, that's a Fisker's one. It's usually a pretty good brand. But sometimes. Um, these are the epoxy uh, resin domes, which I just got these off of Amazon, like 50 of them for like five bucks. So they don't need to be anything special, anything too crazy. Literally just peel peel one off and it's clear. It's a clear dome thing. I just peeled it right off there. And the back side is adhesive. So I just get that on there. Whoops. Don't put it on upside down. I want the picture to be up. So make sure your picture's up. Now you could just go with it just like that. I mean you would that would look great right there. I mean you could move him around. Um, and this is the, like I said, this the website where I got the idea. They also had uh, recommended finding these uh, cheap magnets, and these are super cheap magnets. They're like horrible uh, magnets, actually. They don't hardly stick to anything, but they offer a nice weight, and they have an adhesive, so you don't have to mess around with glue sticks or anything like that. Anything like that, you literally can just take your magnet. It took the thingy off there, lines right up, squeezes together. So you can find these off of Amazon too, and you get like 50 of them for like five bucks again. Like I said, they are horrible for as magnets, but they're good weights. Um, they're, cause you know, cause they have that, that extra heft to them. So now just like that, I now have a Cthulhu um, symbol, which I could use for a you know, temple or a cult type thing or 
anything else where I wanted to have kind of that uh, that uh, evil um, uh, effect going on that the players might be going to interact with. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty simple. Like I said, you just need the epoxy uh, domes, some simple magnets, a pair of scissors, or if you want, you can get the one-inch uh, punch, which it works usually works pretty well. Like I said, this is the a Fiskars brand one, and these epoxy domes and the magnets are like five six bucks a piece off of Amazon. Just kind of look around, uh, search for um, epoxy dome, e epoxy resin dome, and uh, you should be able to find these guys. And then just you know search for magnet obviously to find magnets. And uh, you're looking for a bunch of magnets, one inch. These are all one inch. And, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty simple, pretty simple project. Um, yeah, if anybody does know what that original website was, go ahead and throw it in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. I looked around, but for whatever reason, was not finding it. Um, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and do the like, subscribe, bell icon. You know the whole YouTube drill. Thanks. Bye.